Chief Economist with SPM, Professional Paula Ladi, joins me on the program this hour. Thank you for joining us. Reactions already have begun to trail Mr. President's request in Qatar that investors should report any Nigerian official asking for bribe. Um, the president is saying Nigeria is ready to remove all roadblocks to investment. But for Osita Chidoka, former Minister of Aviation, is described as unfortunate, saying it demarcates Nigeria in the eyes of investors. What do you think? Mr. President's intent was lost on him, right? Hello, good evening. I can hear you clearly, Mr. Laje. Yes, I can hear you now. It wasn't yeah. clear at first. Oh, great. I was asking you about what you think as regards Mr. President's um, instruction in Doha, asking potential investors to report directly to him if any Nigerian official asks for bribe. Um, there are reactions already saying that that statement demarcates Nigeria. I wanted to get your thoughts on that opinion. Well, for me, I wouldn't say it's the market Nigeria. For some of someone like me who have uh, been to outside Nigeria to look for investors uh, to come into the country, either as public-private partnership together with government or working with another member of private sector. And you would see in one of the interviews I granted in December that went viral regarding possible discouragement that investors have mentioned that they are saying in Nigeria. So I, I think because people might have um, interpreted the statement of the president in two ways to mean that um, the president believes all officials are corrupt. That is why if anyone asks for bribe, it should come. It could also be that the president is saying that we are this transparent. So it's a matter of um, six and half a dozen, how you see it. So some persons will see it like that. And the other set of persons may see it as that is not what he's saying. So it depends on how you look at it. But here is the point. Nigeria outside, you know, outside, the, outside Nigeria, we have a huge integrity issue. Or there is, a, there, is, there is a way the rest of the world view Nigeria. Even among African countries, places have been to, including Europe and in Arab that I've seen. When you mention that you're in Nigeria, people come with a lot of concern as to if he's doing project with us, some officials we have for 5% of the total investment, some we have for 10%, some we have for 70% even of the money. So investors all over the world, especially for serious countries such as Qatar, they don't think this is the way to go. And that perhaps is the reason why uh, the, 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 the president might have, might have mentioned that. Mm. I also believe that beyond the statement of the president, it could be good when we make this a policy statement, if we can... Um, creates a program such that when people find out that um, uh, money is being requested for from official, it can be properly reported. Even though you may want to say that is available, but if it's truly available now, the question is, why is it not effective? You might have heard of several places where people would be asked, might have been asked to give some level of keeper, especially people that are coming to invest in Nigeria. I think that may be the reason you know, for the president to have said people should smell the coffee. I hear you clearly. It sounds like perhaps you're saying that corruption appears more endemic as a bottleneck, an obstacle to uh, foreign investments than we seem to appreciate it back at home. But quickly, let me get your thought on Mr. President's pledge in that regard to, you know, make a way for profitable and legitimate enterprising is also asked potential investors saying that their funds would find easy mobility in and out of the economy. But what's your own evaluation of um, the ease of doing business as of today in such a way that matches the president's enthusiasm in this regard? Well, doing business, uh, Nigeria was rated very poorly the last time, even though it was an improvement from what it was. Among other things, the doing business included um, protection of minority uh, minority shareholder, availability of power, so many things that doing business considered that international organization that is that uh, measured how businesses, um, uh, uh, the performance of businesses when it comes to doing business. Nigeria was really, really, really rated very poorly. 
perhaps um, this is one of the things the, the president is looking at to have said, well, if you come to Nigeria, I think the statement spoke directly to FX issues when he says it will have free entry and easy retrieval. Because I must tell you, airlines have stayed in Nigeria for a while. They are finding mm. it very difficult to repatriate their, their funds out of the Nigerian soil. So, you know, this in itself is a disincentive for people to come or other investors to come to Nigeria to come do business. If airline, international airline are finding it very, very, very difficult to do the same. So I don't know if there is a new uh, model, which I think is important to be transparent about because the president cannot be everywhere. He has been to Qatar, he has been to India, he has been to the UAE, he has been to Germany and a few other places for, for official visits, you know, talking about investment. But there are a lot more countries that he has not been to and he may not be to. But when there's a policy statement published on the website of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, an investor will know that when it comes to investment, this is what should be done. But as I talk to you today, it's not exactly clear as to how it should be done. I mentioned uh, sometimes ago some investors that are willing to also come to Nigeria under uh, PPP. But you have to start going to government offices and so on and so forth. And that became a big discouragement, you know, to, to, to some of these persons. Rather, they look at other environment with relatively stable currency, with government who is very hungry for investment. It's not enough for us to say we want this investment by all means. We must demonstrate it with our action that we want investors to come to our country. Absolutely, we must. And you've also mentioned the number of troops, Mr. President, has had in the past months from France to um, India and UAE. And there's also a long list of other, you know, attempts made in that regard. How much of trade and commerce relations have we enacted and garnered from these troops? Is it measurable? Or you think it's something we will begin to feel in the long term? Well, this is a very short term. In fact, we call this term immediate term. After one year in office, that is when we can be looking at uh, what I saw this trip yielded. Recall that President Buhari uh, had a number of trips, you know, to um, China and a few, uh, or I mean, China, I, mean, I mean, China, yes, and a few other places where the currency swap. That currency swap started, but unfortunately, we have not really seen the benefit because check where our currency is now, um, over 1,500 plus as we speak. You know, that is what today's rate is. So how can we say those have yielded, uh, um, yielded the needful gain? I can tell you that, yes, the intention of government for some of these trips, including some policies that have been made, even though some of them are overdose because they are coming at the same time, I must tell you that um, it's important, it's important to, 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 to wait for maybe another few months for the president and his team to be a year in office. After that, we can now evaluate uh, some of these trip if they have yielded the much needed result or not. And I can also tell you, as uh, somebody who also moved around seeking investor into Nigeria, especially, mm -hmm. that um, this period of time is short a period of time that you cannot see. Although some of them, we, 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 because we don't work in government, we don't know if there are uh, conversations that is ongoing that have been taken forward by the administration or by those in office. So we will wait because when the results start coming up, we start seeing reports and we can read them and make sense of some of those trips if they are really contributing to trade Indeed. or not. But I must tell you that personally, I've not seen some energy coming from trade office. Uh, the Minister of Trade and Investment, I think we need to do more. We have started seeing a combination and you know, economic jabbing the central bank have been releasing in terms of policy. And I can tell you some of them are really welcome some of them, of course, they have their concern because economic decision comes with a lot of trade-off. <clears throat> and the trade-off of those policies, I hope, we're ready for them. Uh, but for trade, I've really not seen any energy. I think that uh, Mr. President's movement, except if the Minister of Trade and Investment is working in silence and the public is not aware of uh, some of the decisions they have taken or okay. some of the moves they are making regarding investment in Nigeria. And it's important for us to know so that if you also have investment we cannot this is a plan a policy of government regarding coming to nigeria to invest this moment today we have to go now if you can in a minute um, talk to us about because you talked about government policy i'm sure you're aware of the expatriate levy you know um, to encourage 
more involvement of local employment, even when these foreigners come in to start businesses. But as we speak, it already costs companies in Nigeria some $2,000 to um, a year to obtain residency permit for each of their foreign employee. Uh, do you think um, this policy in particular uh, uh, matches perfectly the intention of government to woo in more investors? Well, I don't think so. I, I will tell you, I don't think so. I've been resident of uh, another country where I've, where I've lived, and I tell you that such policy does not exactly apply. <clears throat> if you ask uh, foreigners to, to, to come and pay excessively, our currency is relatively weak, and they have to work here, they have to invest here, they have to eat here, they have to live here. So if the body and barrier to entry is too high, the truth is that they will not come. We need to open our doors, not just for Nigeria to be a dumping ground. We can Indeed. formulate policy. For instance, if you're a foreign company, you must not have less than 80% of locals or 90% of locals. You can see brick foreigner because that foreigner may want to start business tomorrow. All right. But when we discourage with high interest, with high fee, honestly, I tell you, that our country will not become a, a okay. rainbow country. I check most developed countries in the world. Different nationals are there. Indeed. It is not just black or white or brown. Indeed. Everybody is needed on our soil with the investment with them. We've run out of time. Good place to leave you. Chief Economist, SPM Professionals, Paul Alaje, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on the program. Thank you so much for having me. And that's a show.